Hey guys, today we are doing our blizzard painting. So just to show you what it's going to be looking like here, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our larger size brush and we're going to paint on our sun. So I just used a lighter colored yellow, so if you don't have a light yellow, just take some just take some yellow and mix it with your white and just make yourself a little round circle. Doesn't have to be anything spectacular, just a little round circle. Alright, fill that in a little bit. You're good. After that, you're going to take a bit of like a smaller brush. You can use a medium sized brush for this one. And this is where it's going to get fun. So you don't have to do anything spectacular with this. We're just using brush strokes, like circular type brush strokes. And we're going to go around the sun to give it that, that colorful dimension. So you're going to just that, that, and kind of do some ones out like this. So there's really no wrong way of doing it as long as you're going in a circular motion around that sun. So you can start off with the red. And then after that, I have it just going to keep going with my other colors. I've got blue, yellow, and white that I'm also going to be using. So just kind of keep changing between those to get what color you want. And what's nice about this too is that like when I put some of that blue on that red, it's going to turn into like almost a purple color as well. So you just keep going outwards. Add some yellow on the inside here too. If you want the colors to not blend so much, uh, it kind of takes some time to dry them between colors. I don't mind the blending, but if you if you want to have more like firm colors on there that don't blend together, then you're gonna want to dry it in between colors that you use. I'm going to add a little bit of white, too, because white's a very good blender. Gets those, fills in some of those spots there. And if you feel like, you know, there's not enough blue, just add some more blue. If you feel like there's not enough red, just add some more red. It's whatever you want to do. Whatever colors you like to look at the most. Okay, see how it's looking pretty good? Alright, so you're wanna gonna go out to the edge here. Just keep doing short brush strokes. Doesn't have to be long ones. All right, so now we got that down. We're gonna wanna let that dry. And now you can keep the same size brush, just wash it out a little bit. Take some of your white paint. You can add a little bit of blue to it too if you'd like, that's fine. And you're gonna make yourself your little land here. You're just gonna make like a line. I like to make mine at an angle like this kind of gives it that little bit of balance in the picture because you got the sun on this side so you want to have the higher hill on this side but you can do straight across too whatever works for you so you're just gonna use a paintbrush just kind of brush it over get that nice line in there and then at this point it's going to be similar to the top because we want to have just as much color at the bottom as we do on the top maybe a little less but what we're going to be doing instead of the circular motions we're just going to be dabbing so you can take your brush and just kind of dab that color in, all right? You can just keep dabbing all around the bottom using the same colors used at the top, so the red, yellow, and blue. Just dab it to your heart's content. You want to get that nice reflecting color from the sky and your snow at the bottom here. See how it's coming out really nice and nice and bright. You can go all the way 
it to be your line up there where the ground stops and starts. Just kind of get your color all over the place down there. This is probably one of the more time consuming parts, but that's okay. You know, you can take your time. You can just kind of throw it on there however you want it to look. And if you want to lighten up your colors a little bit, we're going to you're going to add some white to it now. I like to add white to mine here in a bit. Because I think it it just makes it have a little bit more of that snowy feel. And don't be afraid to put this paint on thick because that, that thickness is going to lend a little bit of texture and dimension to it. So I'm all for putting on paint thick. It's not going to ruin the painting, I promise. So I'm still adding some white to the top of it, which is helping to blend it and lighten it. White is a very good blending tool. See how that's looking? It's got that, that color underneath that white there still. It gives it that that bright color but still looks like snow that's what you're looking for All right. so there you go you got that now for the next part if you want you can touch up up here a little bit more kind of because I still got to fill in some part here where the sky didn't quite meet the might quite need the land here. That's okay. If you ever have to go back and fix something, never be afraid to do that. So I've got got that looking pretty good right there. Like that, I'm pretty proud of how that turned out. I like that. So at this point here, you're gonna want to make sure it's completely dry before you go into the next part, because the next part we're gonna be adding the tree. All right. All right, so we have it dried out now. I touched it up a little bit, just add a little bit more white in there, kind of smoothed out some of my edges here and let it dry. So now we just have to add the tree, which that's only gonna take us a very short amount of time. So you can get your smaller brush. You're not gonna want one that's too thick for this one because you want your tree, you know, obviously a little thinner, but if you get a thicker tree, that's cool too. It's whatever you guys want. So we're gonna go with the smaller brush, just get a little bit of black paint. And you're gonna start from here. Just kind of draw your tree in. So I start by drawing the trunk using black paint. Just kind of outline it like that. Fill that in. So I see I filled in my trunk there a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of extend some branches out this way now. And you guys can do whatever you want with the branches. Just kind of have them flow out here. When you have some coming from your sun, that's okay. It's whatever you guys want. As many branches as you want. Can't really go wrong with this. It's just a tree with a lot of branches. I have mine kind of going off the page here a little bit too. Kind of like that look having to go off the page just a little bit make sure you add some smaller ones in there with your big one just keep going back and getting more black paint i already got paint on myself look at that i'm always getting paint on myself You got yourself a nice tree there. I kind of have my roots going into the ground here like this too, because I, I like that look. But you guys, if you guys don't want like that long root coming out the bottom, you don't have to do that. All right, and then for the last and final step, you're gonna take the back end of the paintbrush, dip it in your white paint. So you got some paint at the end of your tip here. And you're just gonna dab to get that snowy effect. Get your little snowflakes in there. See that? And you just do that all around. 
kind of gives it that that blizzardy feel. Don't be afraid to go back for more paint. You can keep dabbing. If you don't want to use the end of your paintbrush, you can always use Q-tips. And there you have it. You got yourself a nice little blizzardy scene.